With a staggered wall bar system, the wall bars are not pre-attached. Line up the two sections of the wall so they are touching each other. Place one wall bar on the inside of the pool and one on the outside of the pool wall. Connect them using the wall bolts and nuts. The wall bars must not touch each other or your pool will break. All holes must have securely tightened nuts and bolts, and all hardware should be as tight as possible using hand tools. Cover all the bolt heads inside of your pool using three layers of duct tape to protect the liner from edges of the hardware or any burrs created by the screwdriver. Install the curved side uprights onto the bottom plates. The top of the upright usually can be determined by an extra hole in the center or on each side for the top covers. The uprights are secured to the bottom plate using number 10 screws. If your pool has bottom cuffs, there is no hardware necessary to secure the uprights. Simply line the upright into the bottom cuff and snap it down into place. When done properly, you should see all of the tabs going through the holes in the upright. Build a 6 to 8 inch high cove along the inside of the pool wall. Pack down the cove you have built using a tamp or trowel. Be careful not to scratch the pool wall. Smooth out the sand or pool base using a rake. If you are using a snap bead liner, place the beaded liner track over the top of the pool wall as we demonstrate here. Place the 8 inch long stabilizer rails over the top of the beaded liner track at each straight side upright. Clip the straight side top plate over the 8 inch stabilizer rail and secure it to the straight side upright using number 10 screws. Slide the 33 inch long stabilizer rails between each of the 8 inch long stabilizer rails. Install the curved side stabilizer rails. These rails will telescope into each other approximately 1 inch, forming continuous arcs around the curved sides of the pool. Once all the stabilizer rails are on, you will no longer need the landscaping stakes and C clamps. Install the curved top plate by snapping it over the stabilizer rail and securing it to the upright using number 10 screws.
Make sure the uprights are perfectly straight up and down using a carpenter's level. Be sure to wet the sand prior to tamping it. This will help the sand pack better. Tamp the entire bottom of your pool. Doing this will help reduce footprints in the sand and provide a firm and even bottom for your pool. Once the tamping is complete, you should lightly sweep the sand base so that you brush away any uneven lines caused during tamping. Unpack the liner from its box. Laying it out in the sun for a few minutes will make it easier to work with. If you have a unibead liner and want to use it with a beaded liner track, you need to cut off the top portion of the bead at the line on the bead. Once you start taking it off with a razor for a couple of inches, you will be able to peel the remainder of the bead off. You want to re-roll the liner in a fashion that will be easy for you to work with in the pool. Bring the liner into the pool and spread it out evenly. Do not walk on the liner with your shoes on. Please be aware that there are a few different kinds of liners that are popular in today's market. The V-bead liner has a bead which hangs directly on the pool wall. There is no coping used with this type of liner. The stabilizer rails will be secured directly on top of the V-bead itself. The snap bead liner requires a separate bead track. The track is installed on top of the pool wall and the snap bead liner is snapped into this track. Overlap liners are hung over the pool wall and secured in place using plastic coping strips.
Unibead liners can be used as either V-bead or snap bead liners. They come out of the box as a V-bead liner. You can also cut and peel away the V-bead portion, leaving you with a snap bead liner, as we have done here. Install the top rails loosely using number 10 screws. Once you have all of the rails in place, you can tighten down all of the screws. If your pool has a resin top rail, this step will be done the same way. but you will use a number 10 screw that is one inch long and has a washer attached to it. Please notice that there are different top covers for the straight side and curved side as we show here. There are many versions of top covers. Refer to the final step in your instruction booklet to ensure you do yours correctly. Most have two halves, like this one. The top covers usually call for number 12 screws, but this is not always the case. Begin filling the pool slowly. It is during this first inch of filling that you will still be able to work out the wrinkles by kicking them to the outside of the pool. After you are satisfied with the bottom of the liner, you can fill the pool halfway. At that point, consult the separate skimmer instructions on how to install your skimmer and return fittings. Once they are on, you can attach your filter system and fill the pool the remainder of the way. Before anyone uses the pool, you need to install the safety labels packed in the yellow envelope that came with your pool. If you do not have these labels, please contact your dealer or the manufacturer and you will be given another set at no charge. Your warranty will be voided if these labels are not installed.
The large sticker goes on the outside wall of the pool directly next to the entry system. This should be visible to anyone about to enter the pool. The smaller label is attached on the liner above the water line directly opposite the pool's entry point, again being visible to anyone entering the pool. See the installation instruction booklet for any additional safety precautions. Never leave children unattended in the pool area. Never leave open access to the pool when there is no supervision present. Follow all local laws and regulations. Obtain all required permits before building your swimming pool. Always use common sense while in or around a swimming pool. Never jump or dive into an above ground swimming pool. Never sit, stand, or walk on the top rails of an above ground swimming pool.